We have a really special build series starting right now. We just landed in Philadelphia. We're going to be picking up a project car sight unseen. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go, let's go. We've got all the throttle boys except for Ricky who will be joining us very soon. And we are going to pick up our five liter rear wheel drive project car in just minutes. Let's get into it. So I thought we were going to like this guy's house, but apparently he has a shop. He has a shop. It's, it's not a it's, a, it's not an auto they shop do, though, right? They do like tinting and PPF, I think. Oh, it is an auto shop. Yeah, okay. not this one right here. Clips Auto Salon. Ah. There it is, baby! There it is. Oh, oh, there woo! she is! Oh, dang! <laughs> She's looking nice. <laughs> oh, that's sick. Where shall I park? Oh, we should have him throw some tinting on the windows. That clean, dude. Look at that. It's clean. Oh. You, know, you guys thought we were getting a bucket? No. Dude, that's too nice. What are we going to do with that? <laughs> we're going to cut it up, we baby. We have an entire <laughs> mountain of parts right now <laughs> at Jimmy's shop. I believe it was a two-owner. Just a bone stock car. 100% original. 40,000 miles. Always garage since new. Fully documented. Wow. And that's pretty much it. I mean, it's just pretty much like a brand new car. Oh, my God. It's so clean. car looks even better than I had imagined. I've got the check right here. Let's go make a deal. All right, keys are in my hand. The car is finally ours. We only have seven days to build this car. We've already got a mountain of parts waiting for us over at our friend Jimmy Oaks' shop in Connecticut. Let's get on the road so we can tell you all about this amazing Fox body Mustang. nostalgic is this? This brings me back to my high school days when all the boys were cruising these things. This car brings back and stirs up a lot of old, very, very good memories uh, for me. And so getting behind the wheel of one finally now, what is it, 20 some years later, it's kind of crazy. You know, getting in one now that was clapped out would be like kind of what I would expect. But to be able to get into one that has 40,000 original miles and literally drives like a brand new car, air conditioning's blowing cold, we've got the windows up, sunroof's closed, like comfortable. And the car drives nice. We just got done topping off our trusty steed with some Sunoco Ultra 94 fuel, the highest octane rated fuel available at the pump at Sunoco. With 94 octane, you're getting the highest rated octane fuel available in the US mass market. Paired with top tier detergency, it's gonna allow your engine to run cleaner, longer, and more efficiently. And with the engines that we build at Throttle or even this 35 year old engine in this trusty old Mustang, we can feel confident knowing that we've got the best fuel available on the market today. Now. Let's pop the hood and take a walk around this awesome Fox Body Mustang. I'd like to introduce our 1989 Ford Mustang GT 5 liter. And this thing is a cream puff. I'm so stoked. What a cool car, man. It what? is. This is like, honestly, probably one of the cleanest examples of a Fox Body I've ever personally seen, like including at car shows. Okay, well, I'm a little older than you and I was around when they were brand new. That's Some different. of my friends had them, so <laughs> I have seen them in pretty much immaculate condition. But for being 30 some odd years old, this thing, this I don't thing. think you can find a nicer one, Agreed. honestly. And the fact that we found a GT unmolested, literally the only mods on this car are the rear window louvers and the alarm system. Yeah, which is probably coming out. Car is fully documented. We yeah. have every receipt. We have the window sticker. Yeah. We have every set of keys plus the dealer tags to get new keys made. So sick. This was a find and a half. 100%. And the yeah, price was such right. A, such a cool car. <laughs> so it's so clean. We want to show you guys around it before we start working on it. So we're here at Sunoco. We figure what better way to show you guys around it? Pop the hood. Take a look. Pop the hood. Pop the hood. Pop the hood, baby. It's there on the left, I think. Is it? Oh, it's yep. right here. All right. 
Look at this, dude. So this is a 302 or a five liter Ford engine. It is a cam and block. It came factory with the Fox body, which is really cool. Yep. Has some interesting features. This is HO, stands <laughs> for high output, which oh, yeah. high output in the late 80s is not what high output is it's today. It's like 230 some odd horsepower. It's like 225, <laughs> 230. So it's not and it's not a ripper, but I'm sure it was back in the 80s. Well, I'll tell you, it, 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 makes, of, it makes a fair bit of torque. Yeah. It definitely has good. no problem turning the tires over. Let's put it that way. Other than that, underhood looks amazing. The car is pretty much completely original and it's actually in really good condition. Yeah, so. there's minus a little bit of wiring we see running around here for the alarm system and the horn that's put here. Yeah. Everything is in its original location and as it was from the factory just showing you know some minor wear now it should be said this car was actually garage kept its whole life the moldings the trims everything is in really good condition because it wasn't sitting out in the sun getting baked by the sun or the elements i'm really happy about that yeah and yeah. even under here you can tell it only has 42,000 original miles because everything under here isn't all dry rotted and just all the, in like terrible all the rubbers, condition. All the rubbers here yeah. are nice and fresh. Usually these like, are all fried or smoked. Yeah. And so we walked up on this car and realized, holy cow. It was cleaner than we thought it was. It was even better than yeah. we thought it was. This was owned by a gentleman who recently sold it. He was the first or second owner, and he was in his 70s, sold it to the gentleman we bought it from who essentially flipped it. Really rad dude and knew a lot about the car from the previous owner. This is cool. But it is, yeah. I think the interior is, is my favorite part. I'm excited to play with this. We're going to be doing some engine mods to this thing. And this is like really kind of far away from the typical engine stuff that we do. Like this has a distributor and wires and then it has to be clocked. What's and a distributor? Yeah, you know, so it's not coil unplug. It's not on a Haltech. It's just like original, clean, simple. It's going to be fun. It'll yeah. be a cool car to work and on. And what's cool, I should add, everything works. That's I right, drove yeah. To this, yeah, I yeah. drove to this service station with the AC blasting, the factory <laughs> stereo playing 90s tunes which is amazing. So it's like stuck on some random radio station here that plays 70s, 80s, and 90s. So perfect soundtrack for cruising this so, thing. Let's check out the interior. Yeah. This is an Americana. You just slam the hood. Body super clean, not a speck of rust or anything on it. Original factory wheels. Owner did put hey, new on, tires. Just listen to the door. Oh yeah, listen, listen to, this to door. the door. Ready guys, ready for this? No misalignment issues. Oftentimes these cars have misalignment issues. It's like a new car. It sounds like muscle. It sounds like weight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the doors probably weigh a ton. And if you guys know me, you know I like my documents. This car came with a lot of receipts and whatnot. Original envelope from Elizabeth Ford in Elizabeth, New Jersey was where this car was bought. I have the original window sticker. This is the type of stuff that I geek out on. So this car cool. was fifteen thousand two hundred eighty-two dollars, brand new. I think we paid almost twice that for it. Yeah. <laughs> Still a good deal. 35 though, years later. No, what is? how many years is it? 34 years later. Unreal. So this is cool because we have this for reference. We take this thing place. We can stick this in the window. I don't know. It's just kind of cool, right? Yeah. What have you, have yeah. you ever seen one of these? Not for a Fox body. This piece of paper is older than him. Yeah, yeah. It, it is. It is. It's a piece of paper. It is. It's older does that make you feel old? It makes me feel old because I was in high school when these cars came out. So yeah, it, it does actually kind of make me feel old. By the time I got into cars, Fox Bodies had well solidified their <laughs> presence in the aftermarket scene. Well, let's look around the inside. So obviously basic because it's a stock car. I have my uh, iPhone charger in here. That's the only thing that we've actually kind of changed um, since we picked it up. It has the power lumbar. I know a lot of guys back in the day wanted the manual mirrors on these or manual uh, windows on these things because they were lighter. Uh, this one does have power windows also has a power mirror switch here in the center and look at the back seats in this thing freaking immaculate basic would not be the word i would use to describe this interior no this thing is in such good shape for an 89 to have all the power features yeah. and and having the cloth and everything in this good a condition you don't even see bolster wear there's literally nothing the dash is perfect in literally every aspect it is so cool to see a car and so point. One of the weird things about this car is you have to have the keys in the ignition to actually pop the gas door and the trunk, but we need to show them inside the trunk. So this car has a sunroof and it's removable, which is really cool. It's a factory sunroof on the car. We have it pop right now, but it does come out. And what's really cool is this car actually came with all the accessories. I'm not surprised. The guy has the window sticker. It also has the cargo area cover in blood red. We also have the bag for the sunroof. So if you want to take the sunroof out, you just lift it out, put it in that bag. And then what's really cool is the strap is actually here to strap the sunroof down so it doesn't fly around in here. And look at this. 
Everything is complete in here. Such a cool car. So good. I don't think we should change anything about the interior, if I'm honest. It is literally, yeah. it's done. It's perfect. My only thing that I thought would be a cool upgrade for this car, and it could be sacrilege, but I think a cool pair of um, like period correct or new but period style Recaro seats with this cloth interior in the yeah, center. Yeah, I agree with that. Would I be, do. The ones with the mesh headrests yeah. would be a really cool touch on this car. I do think we need a stereo upgrade though. It needs a stereo upgrade. The stereo works <laughs> fantastic. All the speakers work. They're not blown out. You can you can adjust the all the, um, EQ the travel and all, and all that yeah. stuff, which is really Sick. cool that it all still works. And it's, it's loud as hell. Like we were jamming in this thing. <laughs> so yeah, I think we need to put a, a Apple CarPlay head unit because it is kind of crappy to yeah. have to hold your phone while yeah. you drive, especially when we're not in our home state and we have no idea where we're going. Yeah, so the interior on this thing is phenomenal and the exterior is equally as phenomenal. I think the styling could use some changes though. I'm not gonna <laughs> lie. This, yeah. And and that was cool in the '80s, I'm sure, but it just doesn't doesn't nah, hit the mark for me. It anymore. definitely screams '80s. I think a set of LX taillights yeah. would look nice on this. Yeah, agreed. So I think we need to change some of the outside aesthetics a little bit. But oh. the car is incredibly clean. The good news is, Quinn, Evan and I have been ordering parts like madmen. It needs to be lowered. It needs some wheels. Yeah, it needs a lot. Some, it, it needs, needs some, a lot. It needs some sauce. So this car is not going to stay stock. We are going to head over to Jimmy's and Ricky's going to join us. Evan's going to join in and we're going to mod this thing in the matter of about seven or eight days. And then we're going to drive it off to Chicago for the NASCAR street race, which this car will then be put on display. The crowd can check it out once we're done modding it and also meet us there if you're there. If you are in the area, definitely check the description down below because we've got ticket information there. If you want to come check it out, come meet us, hang out with us. That would be fun. We'd love to meet you guys and show off this amazing machine that we it's just gonna got. It's going to be fun. All right. Well, I've had my chance to drive it. I put a few miles on it. Quinn, my it's turn. your turn to experience what 1989 feels like in a Mustang. <laughs> let's kick up the jams and put the windows down. Let's go for a cruise, man. Let's go for a drive. Oh, the seat feels amazing, dude. Clutch is nice and... Wow, it has a clutch switch. Yeah. I'm impressed. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Everybody, lo Everybody loves the Mustang. Everybody loves it. So good. This is the stock exhaust too, and we're gonna be changing that up. But it's so good. <laughs> he said man. silent but deadly. <laughs> it rocks the whole car. The whole car's like that's my middle name. <laughs> we rev it. <it's laughs> oh, bike point's really low. Yeah. Nice. Second gear, we're gonna just get roll into it. Oh, it's not bad, dude. Oh, she's spicy. It's just by modern. She's got she's got some pickup for sure. By modern day standards, it's. Nothing, agreed, or, agreed. nothing to bark yeah, about, but agreed. think yeah. about this 30 years ago. Like, yeah, this was a fast it car. It feels good. It picks. I punched it, and it just yeah, took it off. Goes. It's got really good torque. Yep. Really flat power curve, which is nice. Yeah, it's got some. It's got some get up and go. The alignment's bang on. It's not like rattling or shaking. The suspension feels nice. Yeah, like it's just a really nice driving car. One really thing cool. that I know. You know, obviously, what we're gonna do is we're gonna change fluids. Yes, I, I want to do yeah. the. I want to add the trans. We're gonna do the rear end because yeah. we've got some mods that we're gonna be doing that require it. But I would like to go through and actually add any of any and all fluids. I think we should. You know, it might tighten up the gearbox a wee bit, which I think would help a lot. One thing I noticed when I was driving is once this got warm, the mechanism got warm, it started to get a little sticky in the travel. So like the detents are kind of yeah. starting to stick a little bit. Yeah, just a little gummy feeling. Like they were working fine. There was no issue with it whatsoever driving, yeah. but you could just tell that it may just have some wear. You can definitely feel the big sidewall tire on this for yeah. sure. No, it's a little boaty. <laughs> Here you can adjust the column tilt if you like. I was driving like a school bus for the first. Oh, uh, were you like? Yeah, it was like <laughs> laid back like a UFO. But yeah, you can pull that lever and it tilts like it. It's weird. Like this thing is like a ball inside here. It tilts like this. I haven't there tried the cruise control. Should try we try the cruise control? Okay, so we're going to do. Is there a, a light or something on. tells you it's on? Acceleration. Oh, it's working. It's going. No way. <laughs> I'm off gas. It's cruising, dude. Everything, so far, everything works. Everything, yeah, this is sick. I don't know why these switches are so iconic to me, but I remember these very, very vividly from my childhood when my buddies had these cars. Yeah. Just such a neat, like, very just Satisfying. analog, satisfying. Oh, it's got a little red light in there. Yeah, off and on. That's and then the headlights sick. over there, you have headlights and fog lights. 
Anyway, we're gonna keep on cruising. We've got about a three and a half, four hour drive ahead of us to get to Jimmy's shop where we're gonna basically introduce the car to him, get it parked up for the night, head over to our Airbnb and get checked in. And then tomorrow, we're gonna start cranking on this thing. That'll be the fun part. Yeah, and uh, of course, you guys will see all the parts laid out like we always do. We're excited to get cranking on it. My turn. My turn to drive the Mustang. I have never driven a Fox body. We got two keys here. It looks like, I think one's for the door and one is to start the car. Clutch is a little stiff. These guys are jamming out. This interior is so sick with the red. Whoa, that's weird. So the, sh the shifter is so like far this way. When you shift, it's like second gear is like way over here. That's, that's weird. <laughs> no, it's not actually. Oh, it's got it's got a, a little bit of noise to it. Pretty smooth. The steering wheel is super funky. Dude, this thing drives so good. Very quiet in a sense that like the suspension feels nice and tight. This throttle response is really good. I just picked up an E30 M3, which is definitely more of like a race car. So I don't know if that's really the best comparison, but I will say that this feels good. <laughs> Dude, this thing brings me back. So in high school, fun fact, in high school, me and my friends, we all had Hondas. We had turbo Hondas, I had a uh, Prelude with nitrous, but like the arch nemesis in high school was the Fox Body Mustang. And I remember going to the, the quarter mile racetrack all the time, and my goal was to be able to beat a Fox Body. So stock, they're pretty quick. Like to today's standards, they're definitely not that fast, but man, it's got some good torque to it. It sounds good, brakes feel good. This thing drives really, really nice way better than I expected I thought it was gonna be like one of those things like don't meet your childhood idols or whatever but this thing is super fun I could drive this car every day I would say John good seller car is solid I know the boys just drove it four hours and it did phenomenally and I will say I am very very pleased with this purchase this trailer the double rig oh yeah boys we need one of those Look dude we are Drift car parking lot here. Oh, the E36. Zoom in. We made it. All right, we're here, baby. Casa de Jimmy Oaks. We're at Jimmy's shop right now. Let's go check it out. A little Puerto Rican flag in the window. There is. It's got an O on it. Look, you see that? Where's Ricky? It's so neat pulling up because I watch a lot of Jimmy's videos and it's neat to see like the street and test drives on and stuff. I was like, oh, we're close. Kind of a parallel to what we have, right? It's a like kind of a business car. You got the nice sign though. Look at that. Yeah, that you is got nice. The Look at the Puerto Rican flag with the O on it. You guys ready? We're breaking in, baby. We're all... Dang. This is huge. Hey, you got a fatty girl. Wow. This is sick. Look at how many bay doors he has, too. Oh, this is place. so weird in here. Holy this place God. is giant. It is. It's so weird seeing it on video and then coming here and seeing it in person. Oh, there's all our parts. <laughs> so this is, I think this is the lift that they were setting for us. Dang, dude. The E30. It's got a lot of whips. Uh, this is the LS one. That's the SR21. We need to take a look at that. These are all our parts, eh, boys? These are all the parts for the Mustang, or a good portion of them. Dang. Well, we got a lot of things to do here. That is a big pile of parts. And then like 20 minutes, it's going to be all over the floor. <laughs> what is this, man? What is this little special? That's a Honda Beat. I'm surprised Jimmy fits in that. He's so tall. I actually want to see him drive this. I love Honda Beats. The seats are so cool. Does this qualify as a K car? Yeah, it is a K car. 100%. It's made for the Japanese market to save on taxes and parking. Look at all these transmissions over here. Yeah, okay. This is the one I want to see right here. The rear wheel drive, Civi. Is the hood pop or is it just me? It's popular. Yeah, I think Jimmy would be mad if I lifted that up. Ooh, 
Sheesh. K series. I like how you put the Spoon Sports cap on there though. This is a Nissan motor. We did a K20 K series. He did a Nissan K series. So pretty cool. They did a nice job on this. It's cool to see it in person. You can see the is it S13 or S14 front subframe? Uh, I think 13. The Nismo power brace on there. They did a nice job on the intercooler piping and stuff. It's super clean. Very cool car. Yeah, they spent a lot of uh, effort on this to get it all the fab work done and everything. It's really cool. Basically, this car has the running gear of a US spec S13, which is cool because they made it so that it bolts in and out, which is really neat so they can actually swap subframes and stuff. Really smart idea. Yeah, so basically, this is that. Oh no, this is right hand drive. I want that in our shop. You want the hoop, huh? Yeah. Hoop in here? You can't handle these hoops. I got you, dude. <laughs> As an American man, very I needed American. to do that. Yeah. It felt like, yeah, when you drive it, it's like, yeah. Let's this is see. what the 80s were like. That's it. Let's go <laughs> Leonard Skinner and some hamburgers. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah.